Hi. My name is Susan. Or Susan Elizabeth. Depending on, well, lots of things. I am 34. And I was diagnosed last December when I was still 33. Um, as having autism spectrum disorder. Well, um, possible high functioning or Asperger's. Um, you may have heard the term Asperger's starting about in the news lately. It's very bad for us. Um, well, like with regard to Friday, what happened on Friday, 12-14. But I want to tell you something. Asperger's or autism had nothing to do with what that guy did. Even if he had an autism spectrum disorder, it would not have been the cause of what happened. Something else caused that to happen. Um... Um, anyway, I want to tell you something. The media has been saying that Asperger's is linked to violence, and that's not true. But, let me say this. To the untrained individual, or I should say to the individual who has never really had first-hand experience with an autistic, like me. Our, we, we have something called meltdowns, and they're usually because we're frustrated or we're overwhelmed. I have them still at my age. Um, for the non-autistic individual or a two-year-old, whatever, they may be called temper tantrums. So, in some ways, our meltdowns are like tantrums, except that our meltdowns are more because of emotional breakdowns and communication breakdowns. Nonverbal autistic individuals are probably more prone to them because they cannot communicate. Um, whereas a verbal autistic individual, the meltdown might not be as bad, um, because it, it just takes, how, because we can communicate and it just takes having somebody who say, who knows how to communicate with us to be able to get through and to help us. Um... Sometimes the meltdown can be as simplistic as we go into isolation and we start crying. Sometimes it might be that we're kicking, screaming, fighting, pushing, throwing things, um, hitting, pulling hair, probably. Um, but... You know, again, to the untrained person, somebody who's never had first-hand experience with an autistic individual, when they go into these meltdowns, these meltdowns may seem violent in nature, but they are not violence. What we, what the, I love what I just saw, like, yesterday. Um, I think it was, but it clearly articulated that Autistic individuals are not capable of planned violence, and that is what happened Friday, is planned violence. That is what happened at that theater earlier this year. It was planned, premeditated violence, very calculated. Um, we are not capable of that. No one with autism is capable of that kind of violence. Um, but... And autism aside, anybody could have potentially done what he did. Anybody. But 
all the methodical thinking that had to be involved. First off, how did they get the weapon? Then second thing, how did they get in a school that it forbids guns to start with? The third point, you know, I mean, so many rules got broken and autistic individuals were very much, first off, we're brutally honest. So sometimes we say what we think and we don't always mean to. Uh, like, I don't know, take for instance, um, let me show you, and you'll laugh probably, which would be good, but, um, I strewed it on, um, faces again today, and, yeah, okay, that one, on the bottom there. I said she didn't look cranky, she looked constipated. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, I mean, that was my honesty. <laughs> but don't, don't ever, I mean, do not ever ask me what I think of a new haircut unless you are prepared for me to be potentially brutally honest or for me to just say, well, it'll take some getting used to. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I can't, I can't do it. I, I don't understand it, and I can't do it. I don't understand sarcasm. So, please, only say what you mean with me. Oh, yeah, and I take things very literally, because I'm a very literal, concrete thinker. So, when a friend of mine said he had to get ready to be able to leave work so he could go to the barn, I was, like, thinking, hmm, you mean like a barn on a farm? <laughs> because that's all I have concept of. I'm not familiar with people calling their houses barns. <laughs> not to offend him or anything if he watches this. <laughs> but um, another miscon an another thing um, about autism too. Let's see, we're literal thinkers. We're very brutally honest, and we have meltdowns. I went over that. And um, another thing. To, we're sticklers for the rules. So we see everything in black and white. So if it says, well, for instance, in the parking lot I'm in right now, we have these token thingies. I don't know if you can see, but see, that guy right there is at the gate. And if he, okay, there's a sign there too. If he once he figures out how to get out, if he doesn't have a token, he can't get out. But if he has a token, he will drop the token in. But there's a sign over there that says right turn only. Let me see. And what did he do? He just made a left turn. It says right turn only. Um. Well, see, it bothers me. <laughs> and I. Oh, uh, now I need my squishy, because <laughs> I want to, oh, that makes me so cranky, um, yeah, uh, see, I'm bothered by that, and that's my normal response, mama hates driving with me as a passenger, my mom literally hates driving with me as a passenger, but she, um, because I'm always like, hitting my hand on the dash and trying to remember, brake, brake, put the brake on, put the brake on, there's a stoplight, it's red, it's red, slow down! <laughs> so, yeah, um, this is one reason why I'm not a good front seat passenger. If I'm ever in a car full of people, put me in the back behind the driver. That's the best place for me. <laughs> Um, but anyway, as you can see, I mean, I'm a very mm, upbeat kind of a person most of the time, and that's just me. Do you honestly think that I would be capable of such a horrifying, heinous act? Ugh. But the media really flubbed up. Ugh. So, I, um, anyway, but that's, that's me, and that's my story, sort of, not all of it, of course, that would take forever, 
but that is my firsthand experience with autism and Asperger's or high function autism. Asperger's um is no longer even named. It's no longer gonna be named. So you know, I but I've never really identified myself as Asperger's anyway. I identify myself more high function and autism. Because I have communication but I had speech delay anyway, so and that's not characteristic of Asperger's anyway. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say, and that's it. Bye.